Hi, Nick Compass, founder of Smartline Putting. One of the things I get asked all the time is, how do I judge for break and slope when I've got uphill and downhill? So what we're gonna do here is I've got the perfect putter that helps us roll the ball and kind of see a perfect line. So there's not a uh, person's putting stroke that cannot kind of manipulate it. And what we've got here is I've got uh, a down slope. So I'm gonna do this down slope putt first, about one degree, and then we're gonna go up the hill for, for one degree. I found a putt that's the same break. So we're a little bit over, I think it was 1.3. We're a little bit more than a one degree of break. So this putt here is gonna break about one degree, a little more than one degree from left to right. Now, the first thing I'd say kind of the, the, the normal is, hey, whenever I have a down slope or a downhill putt, I'm always gonna play a little more break because I want that ball dying in the hole a little bit more. So it's got to, it needs more time for it to take that break. So again, I went in, I used my digital level, I measured this, we're a little over a one degree break. So if I took out my smart line ball marker, okay, I would get it lined up on that one degree, that first white line. But because I know this is down the hill, I'm gonna play a little extra. So I'm gonna probably play this closer to a two and get this set. So now we can see this golf ball from this downhill putt that's a little over a one degree break. And we're gonna watch this putt roll out here. And we're gonna see how much breaks we can see where it's starting. Okay, and how it's gonna drop on in there. Okay, so again, this putt is probably starting out over here. So again, this is, this is a good foot outside here. Again, that's about a two on the smart line marker. Okay, so again, we'll do this one more time here. So we can see that ball start out. And again, I want it to, you can see how it's dying in the hole. So again, this is great speed for this putt going down the hill. Again, when I have a downhill putt, whatever I think that break is, I'm reading this is at, at about a one degree, I'm gonna play it at least a half degree to maybe one degree more. So I'm playing this closer to a two. Okay, so now we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna go on over to the uphill putt. So again, we're trying to match this out. So again, we're gonna go as an uphill putt, one degree. We had a downhill putt, one degree. So now we're gonna go up the hill one degree, and again, the same amount of slope. So now, and again, I've kind of tested this a little bit here. So again, on an uphill putt, I'm gonna play this pretty much as like a true one degree break. Because the downhill, the downhill is gonna kind of basically add break because I've gotta go a little bit slower. So again, on this one, now that I'm going up the hill, okay, a little short there. Okay, we can see that go in. So again, we'll see this one more time. But again, you can see this line. This is about where I would where I would line up for a one degree. Hey, it's right about here, maybe about six inches outside the cup. So again, I play it on the smart line marker as a one degree, just like we see it, because it's an up the hill. Okay, and you can see that speed staying steady, but again, not nearly as much break as I need for this. So again, what we've done here with this test, we've taken a uphill putt at one degree, a downhill putt at one degree, so we're matched out uphill and downhill. We've taken the same amount of slope, a little over one degree uh, of break, but based on it being down the hill, again, I've got to play more break, okay? So again, easy, just again, if you've got a downhill putt, I'm gonna play maybe about a half a degree or one more degree of break. So again, I might line it up at that two, for this one here, it's a one. I'm gonna probably line it up a little closer to that two or maybe inside that two degree line for this putt. So again, whenever I have these downhill putts, I want to play more breaks so that ball can die in the hole a little bit more.